In this short video, we'll explain the power of portfolio optimization features available in the Enrich Analytics platform. Unlike simple prioritization schemes, an optimization can handle multiple constraints to address competing portfolio objectives. So where a prioritization result may unduly favor later stage, less innovative projects, optimization can suggest a more nuanced investment plan. In addition, optimization methods easily handle dependencies between lead and follow-on projects and can consider multiple development and go-to-market plans for key initiatives. When one or more of these conditions hold, simple prioritization won't be up to the task of making the most of your limited resources. Let's get started. Optimization settings are accessed through the Settings panel. We begin by choosing an objective. For this optimization, we'll select a metric to maximize. You could choose a scoring metric, such as total score, or a financial metric, such as revenue in a certain year or net present value. You can select any of the summable scalar or vector metrics available in your Enrich Analytics configuration. If you select a vector metric, you'll also need to specify one or more specific relevant time periods for that metric. We'll choose ENPV, the risk-adjusted net present value. This means the optimizer will select a set of projects that possesses the highest possible ENPV, subject to the constraints we define. Next, we'll define some constraints. There are five types of constraints available. Scalar constraints include current year cost or number of launches. For scalar constraints, you set the comparison operator and the value. Vector constraints include revenue over time, staff by quarter, or launches by year. And for vector constraints, you set the comparison operator and the target. Dependencies link foundational projects to the projects they enable. Exclusions ensure redundant or competing project scenarios are not funded. Must-do projects must be funded regardless of their contribution towards the objective. We'll set a simple constraint of 200 million in current year cost, representing a short-term budget constraint. Before we run this optimization, we'll save its configuration as a preset. Click the storage icon in the optimization setup title bar to reveal the preset panel. Here you can save and load preset optimization configurations in the same way you can save and load preset views. Click the Solve button to run the optimization. You'll receive a summary message, and a new read-only checkbox column will be added to your data set. In the scenario comparison view we had already loaded, the optimization result appears as a new bubble. Let's take a look at how the optimization result compares with the existing investment options. This view is insightful because it allows you to compare your current and prospective portfolios directly against the optimization result. Start by looking at the key metrics in the bubble chart at the top. Is the optimization result distinguishable from your current investment options? Does it yield more value for the same or even lower cost? The charts below the bubble chart compare revenue and costs over time for each portfolio to a revenue target in the middle chart and to a budget constraint in the lower chart. Hover over a bubble in the top chart to highlight the corresponding portfolio's revenue and cost. Your optimization result is merely a suggestion based on the value criteria and mathematical constraints that you've specified. At this point, we'll copy the optimization result to another portfolio so we can modify it. We'll fine tune the funded projects based on political palatability and team preferences. Of course, the portfolio comparison that you see here will reflect those changes instantly. Let's add a more complex constraint to the portfolio. Consider the need to spend a portion of your funds on early stage projects, for example. It's easy to prescribe a portion of your investment to be made on early stage projects, or to invest in at least, say, 10 early stage projects. 
We'll add a constraint that at least 10 projects must be in the preclinical or phase one stages of development. We'll use the count metric to define this constraint and add a when clause to limit the constraint to early stage projects. Note the constraints are additive. Both of the constraints we've specified must be satisfied by the chosen portfolio. If you want to remove a constraint, click the X on the right hand side. The resulting portfolio is more costly overall than the original optimization result we copied into the current project's portfolio. In the time horizon we're viewing for cost and revenue, we don't see an appreciable improvement in longer term revenues with this portfolio either. The early stage projects that were forced into the portfolio may not be high enough value, even in the long term, to justify inclusion. If you want to explore the optimization result sensitivity to a range of constraint values, click the radio button on the constraint you wish to vary and rerun the optimization. You'll generate multiple optimization results, in this case five different results, and the bubble chart will now show a true efficient frontier. Which of your current investment plans are close to the frontier defined by connecting the optimization results and which fall far from the frontier? Plans far from the frontier are delivering a lot less value from money than those near the frontier. Notice as well that the current project's portfolio into which we copied the first optimization result is above the frontier. That's because this portfolio isn't constrained by the 10 early stage project investment requirement. With Enrich Analytics, it's easy to see the specific trade-offs between investment plans. You'll focus your conversation on the specific trade-offs and their implications and make better, more informed choices on every critical investment decision. Another effective way to compare an optimization result with an existing portfolio is using a waterfall chart. Click on the Waterfall tab and select the base case portfolio for the starting portfolio and the optimized portfolio for the ending one. You'll be able to compare any metric across the portfolio at the project level. You'll also be able to group the projects and look at the differences at the technology market or development phase level. In this portfolio, we are foregoing $2 billion in value, according to the ENPV metric, in order to meet our funding constraints. Is the trade-off worth it? Can we find resources elsewhere within the company to fund those unfunded opportunities? That's a critical conversation that management needs to have. Optimization won't give you the answer, but it might suggest a bundle of options that hadn't yet occurred to you or your executive team. When the Enrich Analytics platform makes optimization easy to configure and communicate, it quickly becomes an essential tool in your portfolio practitioner's toolbox. Thanks for watching.